Chris Hollywood.com takes a look back at their big breakout roles. Back in 2002, Kristen Stewart popped onto the movie scene in David Fincher's critically acclaimed thriller, Panic Room, opposite Jodie Foster when she was only 11 years old. Actress took the precocious star surfboard shopping since it was her favorite hobby at the time, and she told us how she landed the star-making role. I asked my parents if, um, you know, if I could, like, try it out, and they're like, you know, there's a lot of disappointment, you know, there's a lot of letdowns. I'm like, I know, but it's worth a try. I said, okay. And, um, and they, we were all so surprised when I even got sent through objects, and then we panicked and came on. It's such a huge movie. I'm like, whoa, it's a huge surprise. I didn't think so at all. The lead role in Panic Room was originally played by Nicole Kidman, but when she had to drop out due to an injury, Jodie Foster stepped in, which was a perfect fit for Kristen. My whole life, people were like, God, Kristen, you, know, you look so much like Jodie Foster. I'm like, yeah, I know. And I've always been like such a fan of Jodie, and I've always really looked up to her, so when I found out she was doing a movie, I was really excited. Kristen Stewart, ironically, was cast to be Nicole Kidman's daughter in the film. She looks so much like me when I was a child, and acts like me. She has the same personality, same kind of stoic, um, reserved emotions, um, and, the, and the, the same kind of focus. She can really focus in a way um, that's, that's rare for young kids. So I love working with her. I have to say, she's, she's just somebody that I really, really consider a friend. I really enjoy my time with her. With stars like Jody singing her praises and a major motion picture under her belt, Kristen's life changed forever. When the movie came out, See, because no one really knew when I was shooting, like, Kristen's going to machine. And so when I came back, they were like, oh, hi. And I said, like, what were you? I only told my really close friends that I was off shooting a movie. And um, when it came out, everyone was like, you know, I get a lot of... That's cool. It was weird. And then there's the phenomenon that is Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Robert's big break came from landing a major role in one of the biggest movie franchises in film history, Harry Potter, although he didn't quite come prepared. Uh, I haven't really, I, I've tried to read the other books, but like, well I haven't actually tried. <laughs> All joking aside, Robert had a great time working with the cast. Even though Robert got along famously with the cast, it wasn't all fun and games on the set. It's been covered in cuts and bruises every single day. And, um, and you become almost fake blood as well, so you didn't know when you were actually bleeding. <laughs> and, uh, like, your fingernails, that was the worst bit, like, getting cut from your fingernails, because all was like, crawling around. And, uh, but, um, yeah, that was, it was quite grueling, but, like, just because it's really exciting playing, and, and uh, you never really notice. And it's fun, like, when you come over with those bruises and cuts, like, you know you've done it right. <laughs> Despite having a minor but key role in the film, Goblin of Fire director Mike Newell knew a star bound for uber fame when he saw one. Mike obviously is one of your biggest fans because apparently, in a quote in Entertainment Week, he said, when you look at him, you know he's going to be in danger. He's too good looking, too golden boy not to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Access will be there every step of the way.